All right, this is my rescue rig from the 70s with Big Jim with his fire retardant uniform on. This is a complete rescue rig. I also have a lot of other rescue accessories that didn't come with this rig, but I threw in the box that I picked up when uh, I was buying box locks to replace missing parts from my other Big Jim sets. This Big Jim set was complete. It is uh, no damage to it. Everything is intact. The There's two walkie-talkies. Uh, got the walkie-talkie there that Big Jim would wear and it has a pull cord. When you pull it, it says uh, talks about the emergency situations. And then we have this one that takes a D battery. Uh, does, not, does work, but not well. And it has uh, a lot of emer uh, sayings too. You got these equipment. You got a drill, a saw, and I'm not sure exactly what the little yellow box with the handle is. And then had a shovel and an axe. The oh, also a ladder. The red box actually slides into a compartment inside the rescue rig and that's where it sets. The other side of the rig has two doors that open and uh, you see it hanging on there is other rescue equipment, hatchets, air t uh, fire extinguisher, t uh, tool kits and all that good stuff. The boom it, uh, it operates, it has an option for you it has a if you, you I see if you can see it on top there's a spool with a string to it and it actually has a hook that's on, on the end you can't see it in this shot here but you could use the hook to pick up a gurney and basically the basket that Jim is sitting in acts as a gurney as well okay here's another basket I have and I've opened it up to show you what the gurney looks like that's the that's the gurney folded into a basket with Jim in it, and that's a gurney. Uh, the basket unfolded into a gurney, so you can lay another big Jim or whatever in it, and hoist it to safety. Okay, here's a close-up view of Jim with his fire suit on. He's got gloves. Uh, missing, I believe there was a set of air tanks, and they I think they're missing. I don't seem to have them. And this is take another tour of the front of the big gym front rescue rig and here's the front and just like the camper you lift open the windshield to put Jim inside to drive this is the back compartment that snaps on to the rescue rig and you can see inside that there's uh, emergency supplies in there as well and it snaps there's, there's four snaps on the back two on each side and that's where uh, that's how you snap it to the back of the of the van and in, in the back you also have just like the camper a sink and a stove and pretty much is actually the camper with a different front end piece on it okay there is a uh, big Jim with his fire suit on missing the air tank I know I've got it I just don't know where it's at he didn't come with the rescue rig it was, it was a separate setup and here's the driver side of the rescue rig you can see that uh, got a lot of detail on it he's got again the number nine the rescue rig number is number nine and there's the big gym shield with three stars on it here's you a shot of the front and you see on the front and it has the uh, winch and of course the headlights and grill signal lights the top it has sirens it has lights and it has an antenna okay the boom of the rescue rig spins all the way around and it extends pretty high I'll extend it for you so you'll see how high it is alright 
there's the boom extended I can't get it all in one shot with this camera but you can see the roof of the rescue rig you can see the base of the boom and there's Jim that's pretty pretty good height for this rescue rig toy okay I also uh, mentioned there was a hook there's the hook and that's the uh, hook that you hook up to the basket and there's the hookup for the basket there when you turn you can use the basket uh, on the hook as a basket or a gurney all right here it is again with all the accessories this was a pretty fun truck uh was one of my favorite big gym sets but i did enjoy it uh, my favorite one was the camper and the safari truck which i will show you the safari truck as well i'll I mentioned in other videos you tend not to see a lot of big gym stuff in flea markets and yard sales but when I do find them I pick them up and uh, I did pick up a rescue rig it was missing all the accessories and the boom was broken but the truck was there and I bought it just to save it I forget where I was at when I got it but it was a junk store not an antique store not a flea market it was just a junk store this guy that owned it, the store he bought stuff and just dumped it in on tables I, I don't know if he did storage lockers or what and I found a rescue rig but I, I looked and looked couldn't find anything else and what was missing on the boom was this part here that holds the basket and then uh but everything else was there for the truck the windshield or antenna was missing there's an antenna there too uh, it was missing but the uh, yellow light assembly was attached as was the steering wheel and the wheels and it was in pretty fair shape so I got it from him for a couple of bucks and I was going to try to put it back together but I decided I didn't need a second one because I had a I, I've got too many second sets as it is so I ended up putting it on eBay you know and I think I made like twenty dollars off of it because it was because it was in good shape it, it had the, the the van was complete the snap-on piece was on it nothing was missing off the van except the uh, antenna all the accessories and that boom part this was this is a fun set it's, it's uh, pretty cool but again like I said it wasn't one of my favorite sets I, I really play with my camper and my safari truck more than anything else all right here's the box and like I said uh, the box is in kind of bad shape uh, part of it's ripped on the back where the lid won't stay sealed but at least I have it this box does not have anything in it uh, like I said I only have one rescue rig and the rig sits on the shelf it's pretty dusty I have to dust it uh, like my safari truck I have my original in the box I have a second one and I'll show you that in a separate video my camper the original ones in the box I have and I already posted a video of the camper and it's uh, I showed you the one I found in the yard sale and had enough pieces to make the second uh, camper set uh, but yeah that's uh that's the box as it says in pretty bad shape but uh yeah, right there it tells you rescue rig with talking communications center and then it also says simple assembly required and I, I thought I, like I said in one of my other videos I think it was the dune buggy boat set they were easy to assemble uh, I always when I got the big gym stuff my father helped me with decals wherever decals had to be attached but uh, usually I put everything else together I mean he would help me if I had to cut stuff and all that because I was like I was a little kid I was set in the 70s but the rescue rig they should bring this one back out too you know you see all these reality shows with uh, hunting and fishing and all you know there's they've had shows about uh, firemen and all that Mattel I think is sitting on a gold mine that they're not taking advantage of because uh, this stuff was great fun I mean I my cousin had Evil Knievel, I had Big Jim, my brother had G.I. Joe. And I can tell you what, uh, 
I, I guess I'm biased because I had Big Jim, but I think the Big Jim stuff was a lot better uh, to play with. It was, I don't want to say the word educational, but it did make you think, make you uh, understand what you, how you explain what you was playing, and it was realistic. And uh, because you know, what boy didn't want to be a fireman when he was a little kid. Well, that's uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Big Jim Rescue Rig from the 70s. Another great Big Jim item made by Mattel. I will post future videos of other Big Jim items. I do appreciate you viewing, and if you have Big Jim items, please post them. These are great items that people seem not to know about or have forgotten about. Have a great day.